There we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode two for the second season of Titan's Grave. And hopefully this time around, my microphone is working right away. It should be, so. Uh, before we get started, we do have a few announcements. Uh, first and foremost, while you are may, you may be able to see on the screen if you're not just listening, that two of our players are missing. I, uh, Giggles and Celine won't be able to make it tonight uh, for Christmas for reason. Uh, but we will miss them very very much. And hopefully we'll get to see them next week. That's what I talked about earlier. Alright, next up, uh, affiliation and announcement as per usual. We are Dice Villian with Die Hard Dice. I did go on the camera. Well, um, we're definitely with Die Hard Dice on the nice shopkeep in the realm. You can there you can find many quality polymer and metal dice and various dice accessories. Do make some merchant merchant dice in the chat. If you have a few things, one is going to be the, uh, the link to the product on which we get a quick kickback if you choose to purchase it. Uh, it helps support the channel, the cast, and all that, so that I can hopefully pay my lovely cast for their time, because I want to pay my cast for their time. They're wonderful and absolutely worth it. They, they, they deserve all the support. Uh, so yeah, any purchase there, get a little bit of kickback for the, uh, that, and it helps support the channel. You can also get 10% off of your entire order, regardless or not or not you choose to uh, purchase that set by using the uh, discount code GRC10 at checkout. And next, uh, in the same branch of supporting us, it's supported us by using our affiliate code for the hit point press. Hit point press are make their TTRPG series and get uh, the settings. Mostly you can find for 5e, uh, such as the mobile setting, the crystal bag, Take as many and many more. So you mark HPP in chat to get that link and help support us. And last but not least, we are affiliated with 1985 Games. Commission mark 1985 in the chat. That is going to get you uh, two things. One is going to be our affiliate link uh, that you can use and support the channel. And also a little lovely discount uh, discount code GRC10 to get 10% off your order. They make beauty terrain tile and minis. And I think recently, or oh, stay tuned on there, they should be at some point. Uh, possibly some link for their uh, recent dice for people that may want to get it after the Kickstarter ended. I got them some here. Uh, I don't have them on hand. Maybe we'll show them after the break. Uh, but they're really, really cool to think so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh. I mean, I d I'm not sure if any of my lovely player wish to do a quick recap of what happened last session, or am I going to have to do it? I may give a, a nice re-roll if somebody does it for me. I have no memory, so I can't. <laughs> so you can't. Okay. Mm. Uh we got don or they got donuts, uh, and Soggy got a new stat. The end. I mean, in a nutshell, that's basically what happened. You had a discussion at Dragon's Donut, you got donuts, invented a new kind of donut, still a prototype, but apparently it is going to be a hit. And then you went to meet Mr. Boss. And the party described Soggy as their healer? Question mark? <laughs> and, you know, the question is still up in the air whether or not Soggy is indeed a healer. It, they did heal during the quick session hero that we had. But hey, who knows? Uh, that's where, uh, where 
and we are. And last time, he also mentioned uh, a couple clue in regard to possible whereabouts of cult member of the Prophet and information and some loose information about the autonomous front that are still active in the city, just not as upfront and violent. I suppose that, you know, during the first season, some people did have a talk with them and telling them that this may not be the way to go. So, who knows what they're planning. But that's where we are starting back. As our group of hero adjacent people are exiting at least the top floor of the boss group building. I turn this to you. What is your plan for today? It is about like mid past midday. So Arya's gonna look at Sagi go. Okay, so the reason why I keep calling you a healer is because Usually he is telling someone like, oh, we picked this person up from a donut shop because they're a good fighter. Usually people start asking questions. My line of work when I have two people, oh, they're a healer. Most people, they're bad and I and just go, okay, whatever. So, yeah, so that's why. I'm sorry if that made you uncomfortable or anything like that. Oh, no, not uncomfortable. Uh... It seems like that's something that's important to use. So I felt special. I just don't want to disappoint nobody. Um, what kind of what line of work are you in? Uh, Arya kind of pauses, looks to the group, and goes, "Well, since oh. I work for them, mostly my job was." I work getting information, gathering, bringing it back, reporting on different things. Almost got my kill self killed a few times. Say no more. I get it. You're a secret shopper. I had to encounter a lot of those when I was back in, starting out in the bid. So I had to shop, move around from different place to place. So I respect the work. I've had my run ins with them. I've had consequences and fallouts as a result of those things but you know what it's not their fault they're just doing they're just doing their job and i gotta do better at mine so keep up the good work i'm confused what do you what okay it just goes um think of what you just the person that you just said except my line of work is infiltrating uh, corrupted individuals' households, um, organizations, and trying to stop them from within. Does that make sense? Oh, so you're like a super secret shit. Yeah. <laughs> I love Close that enough. everything with Soggy is like a food analogy and business analogy. So, yeah. So Soggy has some trauma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically, just think I'm the one that finds the restaurants that are very bad and <clears throat> screwing people over. Best way I can explain it. Anyways, um, now, Voss did say the mills, I believe, is a place that we can go look to see if we can find any information on the profit and her cult. So that's one aspect. Zach, Evelyn, I think it would be good for you two to actually go to the library and see if you can do any more research, find any glyphs or anything like that to possibly help us be able to find them given their security. Yeah. Nature. And as you, say, as you say that, as a queen and Ivor, and they look at her, like, yeah, yeah, uh, we can do that. No problem. Uh, sure. Uh, it's a bit of ways off. Uh, do you need your 
are are you gonna just drop us off there or or do we I have like to take the to. bus? Given that at one point you all were on wanted posters, I feel safer driving you there. And who knows, we might actually notice things on the way. I mean, okay, this is not me saying that they should take the bus. But, I mean, if we were so worried about being arrested, we wouldn't go out and about all the time. You know? Library's well, a public place, too. That's true. She's right. But again, I'm not saying that you should make them take the bus. I'm just saying, like, I mean, we, I feel like that's, I mean, us tiptoeing around something, but still walking around the street. I go to the food truck, like, every day. So, that's true, you do. And, I mean, we were just at Dragons and Donuts causing a scene. That's true, too. Oh, boy, I hope people who hate me don't realize I'm back. Anyways, let's uh, head to the buggy and head over to the library and you want to do the mills or what was that other place? Or what was it? I don't know. I was... was it Abercon Stadium or was that in the mills? Oh, there was um, activities in the mills. Um, in the stadium as well. Although not too sure what's going on there. Uh, and there's, you know, this the, the, the silly thing called the prophet's voice, but that's, you know, mo mostly like a rental, like, place. So. It, it has a name that, you know, ring a bell with the prophet, but it's most likely completely unrelated based on sort. Is it a rental place? Like, like Discovery Zone? Like you can rent like the birthday party section? Yeah, things like that. People rent places for their birthday? Oh yeah. Quite a few high-end people do that. I know that for sure. And they're very particular about the kinds of cakes and goodies that they want. They want it to look really realistic, and some of them want to have very special ingredients. Uh, dietary restrictions are the bane of my business. Sabine just looks at you like you are speaking a completely foreign language, because does not understand any of these food restri dietary restrictions. It's renting out places for parties? Oh, yeah. You would just have... what? Oh, yeah, I once actually infiltrated one party, and dear God, this one woman was so particular. Everything had to be perfect. The streamers had to be... Literally, she had us do a ruler, and I was just like, okay, I'm definitely going to make sure you're on the list to get stolen from. So how do, like, prop... I don't know, the... the prop, well, okay, out of character, Soggy would know yeah. about the... But yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Like, okay. if Soggy has any not has not been living under a rock their whole life and just recently just emerged, okay. uh, they would absolutely learn about the prophet and chaos war, which essentially put all of Valkan in darkness 2.0. Mm -hmm. Cool. What if they've been living under a, a saucepan all their life? I mean. That is all, uh, also uh, the possibility, you know. I, you don't know about Soggy? You spent them. How do you know that cellar wasn't my home? Just kidding. Oh, fuck. Um, That's just sad. I wonder what kind of potty games they got out of Prophet's uh, birthday potty. They had like, pin, pin, pin the tail on the prophecy. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, I think you're actually saying stab the heart of the prophet some of these games that the rich people play are weird anyways yeah so we all get into the buggy and drive over to the sabine uh, library and sabine is like city people are fucking weird <laughs> i mean aria has been in this city for around 100 years she pretty much grew up in this place both no. weird she means oh. city folks in general not just aria 
Arya is weird. Oh no, for she knows. No, she doesn't say this out loud. This is just her, like her thought and also probably on her face. Internal monologue. It's yeah. Like. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe there's a market somewhere around there that I can grab some things, but uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I want to spend some time with this new this new thing. Uh, and I try and like keep it away from my pizza peel so that my pizza peel can't tell that I'm enjoying the new staff. <laughs> Pizza peel looks at you jealously. Right, you, you can tell from the pizza peel it's, it's jealous. It's a very expressive pizza that, peel. That pizza peel is gonna drop the next pizza you try to take out of the oven. <laughs> I also I made a mistake last session where I thought I had like a specialization that allowed me to figure out what this item is or was. Like so technically, I don't. So I, I guess I could use like the travel time to connect oh, with it, and learn yeah. about it. I'll allow it. I mean, it would make sense. Soggy, they are very tuned with. Even if they probably don't want to admit it, they are tuned with magical aspect of the universe. So, they they would definitely know like by just spending some time. The uh, magical property of that staff, which is a very good tool. I did I did send you the staff the staff for it right. You did. So, uh, why is the uh, destination? I'm assuming this was a, like a walk and talk, or like as you're like were in the elevator going down the building, mm -hmm. or you just and like then, just uh, ch chatting by the cooler. It's up to you. Fine. Uh, walk and talk. Walk and talk. Yeah. All right. Yeah, West Wing style. Right, I expect that. So. Uh, walk and talk. Uh, what was your first destination? Uh, we mentioned uh, the that... library. All right. So the li and then going over to the mills, I believe. All right. So the library would probably be going over to the uh, Nisaros College, uh, which is in Great Ward. Yeah, it would be probably like around like. It is a bit further west. And the mills, you go back on the bridge, same Sikri stop as previously, but as soon as they see your assortment of people in a vehicle, um, they just let you pass through because you, you essentially just been like through that spot like 30 minutes ago or like less mm -hmm. than an hour ago. So, uh, yeah, they, you know, like you, they stop and then let you go through. You go and drop Zacharine and Avalyn at the Nestoro College. So you, you know how to reach them, right? And you know you know how to reach, right? Mm -hmm. Like you need to communicate her. Um, I mean, it's not like we're going to be able to do anything. We're going to be here. But, you know, if you die, just call us. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh. That's how I knew Avalyn had a flat tire. It was slow. That she had a flat tire, and she not that she was a flat tire. Yeah, that she said she was taking. She took the bus. <laughs> Supposed to. I mean, buses also can have flat tires. You know how the road is back out there. Even we had uh, troubles with the RV. Oh gosh, we forgot about the RV. It's still at the mansion. Yeah, where's that RV? Yeah. No, we knew that. Oh, Arya totally forgot about it, given everything yeah, that happened. We basically, weren't said we weren't going to go back, so we just left because <laughs> we yeah, didn't even just... know where we we didn't even know where we came out at. Yep. Yeah, we teleported. We don't know. I just totally forgot about it. Anyways, so to the mills we go. And uh, Soggy is no longer cramped on the hump in the back seat and is able to kind of actually sit if there's more room in the car now. Yeah, Soggy, they actually have like leg room right now, which is very good. Considering that they are a fairly tall person, I do believe. Yes, they got some. They got some meaty legs. Oh. 
the mills. Although like the name is can be a bit deceptive. You don't you don't you may expect like windmills and things like that from somebody that lived in, far, in the farm life. Uh, but it, it is more industrial part of town or factory. At some point there was probably some actual windmills or things. Uh, but it is a very very industrial part of town. Very uh, generic uh, buildings that almost like blend into one another, like faded colors. It is not as colorful as certain parts of the city. The uh, it's mostly workforce that go around here. So uh, all uh, tell people that are there and be very very busy. And as you go, you go through. You see some people essentially out, like outside, probably like working and like on their break and things like that. It is uh, the mills are right essentially on the western side of uh, river. So you also have that visibly. Oh, yeah, you can have a look around, see what you're maybe looking for. What what is your plan of approach for that possible investigation? Or you just want to go with a sign saying, Hey, we're looking to join a cult. No one? Uh, that's up to you. So, how do we want to do this? Do we want to... I mean, the stadium that I'm pretty sure he was talking about is over that way. And... The rental store, I'm not really sure. Things have moved around here quite a lot since I last time I've been here in the mills section of the city. I don't know where I am right now. I've never been here before. So I don't know. Yeah, this okay. would, would not be a part of the town that you would have really frequented. There's no food street vendor here, so... Well, also, just in general, like, yeah, this whole, like, two months ago, Sabine had never seen a big city. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is her first big city. So, of course, she has not explored all of it. And there's a lot of more, like, it, there's a lot more stuff than you anticipated, but more traveling here. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, I don't, I don't even know what some of these stores, like, are even for. All I can say is, as we're going past, I'm sure, pretty sure we found a naughty store, and Ari would just go, well, that one is only if you're going to have some fun times in the bedroom. I mean, you could just say sex. I mean, I grew up on a farm, so, like, obviously, we had farm animals who would, you know, have sex. So that's fine. I mean, there's sex, and then there's the fun type of sex. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, let's see. Savi, what do you think? Stadium or the rental? Rental. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to check out this birthday party. I want to check out what kind of a what kind of a cake they actually made. <gasps> so the rental place does cakes. If they're doing it right. I mean, it depends on what type of rental place it is, but we can find out. Now, I would think that Boss would have given us directions to the locations and everything, right? Yeah. Uh, so, you do have, like, in the mills, you do have certain, like, factory that, you, that may have been noted. As, uh, mm -hmm. Um, Biddy. One does belong to a rival group. 
uh, called the North Star Factory. But and this one was one of the one that was mentioned vaguely as there was some unusual activity late at night there past regular business hours. And I mean Prophet's Voice, which is a rental store, has established, so it may just be a coincidence it's called like that as well. Okay. And there was also the stadium, which is a different part of town, I do believe. Uh, so, but you're right now in the mills, so. Um, it is, uh, yeah, your Riverside. The stadium is. Oh, damn. Big city map. Yes, in the outfield. Outfield. Uh, yeah, it's a, it, it's in a completely different part of town, but it would be just a bit more north. Maybe worth looking into after, while you're going to get back. Your fellow party members. So stadium first, then. Yeah, Since it's probably it would be more nighttime by the time we are heading back. Hit the rental store next. Would that work? Yeah. So, I mean, you, you essentially like first went to college, then when uh, did you go directly to the mills, or did you go to stadium first? That's where. Okay. The stadium is closer to the, uh, the stadium is closer to the college. Okay, then in that case, Arya would probably have taken us to the stadium first, since most of the activity at the rental place was happening at night. No, it's, a, so it's the, just the stadium. mills that was happening at night. Oh, the mills? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Apologies for any confusion. Oh, no worries. This is just yeah, a lot of information. Oh, yeah. Stadium first is what I'm thinking, and then the mills to see what's happening during the middle of the night. Hey. Is that okay with the rest of you? If that's the plan. Okay, to the stadium we go. Going to the stadium. It is a massive building meant to host some local event. Uh, it is in a bit of a. It tries to look very, very good on the surface. It has like a good paint job, but you can see uh, if you pay close attention that some part of this stadium are no longer in its former glory. Falling apart. It is not very. Uh, there's not many people around at this time. Uh, Usually, uh, when this establishment is very busy, is when there is some uh, local sporting event or whatever they may consider as, uh, as you know, some interesting sports and events that they can do here. Uh, so it is fairly quiet. There's you no know, mishmash of a, a bit of a crowd, uh, but it, entrance to most of the generic part is possible. Um, it like you can still enter like the building and go to what would be the gift shop and things like that. But some access to like the field itself may be blocked, restricted. But that's nothing that has ever really stopped some of you. So. And when you you do get in there, there's like a little you know map of you know the area. Like here are some of the typically uh, at least chamber. Here are some of the office, well, uh, office and things like that. But and they gave you a lay of the land. You do you did get uh, an alternate. Uh, 
blueprint from Voss Group that does show some uh, possible in a, in a pathway from like from old Nestora before some reconstruction was done. Um, given Arya's background and kind of being in the underground mm -hmm. quite a few years, uh, would she have an inkling of where would like the best place be if the prophet was doing something that most likely, okay, it could be either this place, this place, or this place that we should go investigate? So, just give it um... Give me just a general intelligence check. Come on, new dice. Don't screw me over. That's not done. Where's my intelligence? Uh, that is a 14. Oh, with a 14, it's not bad. Pretty, uh, pretty uh, above average, which is good. Um, so, from what you can gather, you, you know that somebody like the Prophet would not be if she is, or at least a member for cult are around here. They would not do any of what they're doing currently in the open. Just because it, their presence is still not very wanted since the Chaos War, with good understanding. So most likely, uh, if there's any, for lack of a better word, lair, or you know, area where they would get gather to, it would probably be in some of like the basement area of this uh, building. Okay. Uh, she would probably point that out to the others and go, okay, well, could be this place, could be this place. I'm kind of going for the basement and possibly any of these areas that aren't shown on the regular map. So I suggest we go to the basement first and then go on from there. That sounds fitting. That's where. That's how we met, sort of. I mean, a little bit before the basement, but we went down to the cellar. So it's sort of like where the bread, like the magic really happened. Ha, <laughs> get it, magic. Hmm, go. That's true. So, shall we go? I don't see much people, so that's good news on our end. Uh, and so we head off. Uh, just to, you do have, you know, um, idea of where you're going but uh just to be able to find possibly the best you know uh, pot go in can you give me just uh perception searching if you're just to get like a proper lay of the land uh, and, and and anybody that wants to like do that you can so, uh, Soggy, you can do that as well. Uh, 15 for Arya. Maybe, I think I'm a little, uh, kind of joining this group. I don't know that I've been here or in this area either. So I'm deferring to the secret shopper. And what was that, a 15? That's 15, yeah. yeah. Any stuff like, generated not in there? I'm distracted, but I'm just trusting nope. this other person. That's good. You did not generate any stun point with that, did you? Nope. All right. I was close, but no. Close, but no. I had a four, five, six. So it takes you a little bit, you know, try to match uh, the information that you got, um, and try to look as casual as possible as well. You don't want to just, you know, go full on the floor and just with blueprints and, you know, look for every like, nook and cranny on there and try to look around as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you do uh, look around, try to avoid probably some of the uh, unwanted attention that you may gather from 
the occasional uh, contract security guard here. Um, but you do find uh, what would be leading towards some of like basement and maintenance area, which is currently uh, locked for obvious purpose. Not for long. It is uh, a keypad type of setting. Uh, okay. <coughs> well, unfortunately, and Zach isn't here. Yeah, you can, you can assume that you know people you know that go in have their like ID card. They can just you know swipe and get mm -hmm. access. It is easier than trying to give everybody individual keys. It's much easier yeah. to deactivate. Uh, huh. Realizing this, trying to pop it open and do it the old school, unlocking. Wait, don't I have like the power lock? That's not I don't helpful. know. Do you have a tool for that? I believe I do. Let's see, I have regular lock picks, but I also have. So I know that. The lock break. I think that's what it was. Let me just look that up real fast. When you haven't gone into your inventory in forever. Okay, this would be in Titan's Grave because that's a new item. Please stand by as I'm looking at. I mean, it, it, it may be an it may be an item that you haven't used in a while or at all since first season. Yeah. So, like, coming back information sometime. Oh yeah, let's see. I see an intensely oscillating length of stiff wire that strips the delicate inner lookings. Oh, okay, of locking mechanism. It gives the lock picking test open. Oh, it's mechanical locks. Damn it. Mm -hmm. So never mind, I don't have that ability. Okay, well. Some of you that may have been paying attention to your whereabouts as you were going through, trying to blend as, you know, the, the most average denizen slash tourist, uh, you didn't like yeah. notice like, you know, some like maintenance people, like the people that were working in the gift, the gift shop, a little like close, like, Glorified hot dog stand that would, you know, sell like hot dog burger and you no know, basic stadium food. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that is just open with serving minimum things. This is, I guess, still make some money. How do I want to be evil to get into this place? I was about to say, are there any vents that we could use? But, um... I mean, there are passing... vents. They're, you know, not on floor to, like, they're not very big. They're about, you know, maybe foot and a half wide and, like, okay. tall. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Uh, is there anybody that... Aria can see as they were passing by that might have been a good mark for her to um, possibly snatch their ID like for some odd reason they had it like, like one person that always has it flapping on their uh, side of their pants that is just like pickpocketer's dream uh, kind of give situation. me a perception being Uh, let's see. Uh, 15 and 4 stunt points. Okay. How do you want to use those stunt points? Uh, let's see. Can I do... I think I would do a speedy search. Okay, that may be smart here. And then I think let's see. How many did you generate? Then I'll do also. 
efficient search, I'm thinking. Unless there's another one that I can leave for two. I mean, advantageous positioning may be a good thing. Oh, that's true. Okay, then I'll probably do that and efficient search. All right. So while uh, Arya is scanning about, plug in Sabine, uh, anything that you may be doing your side, you're trying to possibly find a way to go into the basement and possibly sub-basement of the establishment. Can you um, just describe like what's around us right now? Like, so, are there are people... <coughs> yeah. So right now, uh, you're in a very large, more or less hallway, like travel pad where people would go, come and go. Uh, it's not very far from the main, uh, probably the main entrance. Uh, on one side, you have windows that peek outside and some light. And there's a few people that uh, uh, go around and, you know, sometimes just uh, want to see, like, possibly like smaller local exhibits. It's a bit of a tourist destination at times. Um, with the uh, skeleton crew of workers uh, and like not so far from the entrance there's also like a little uh, gift shop and a little uh, food place food you say yeah that like, like open. <laughs> it is open it is like very ba uh, basic engineering stadium food uh, as you can imagine <laughs> oh. I can't what is that Things I don't like, do sports. You don't do sports. I, I've like no. I, I've not like set foot in a place like that in a very very long time since I was. Uh, it's a like wee hot high. dogs. Like, like hot dogs, that? like like no, like hot dogs that you know with made with questionable meats as every hot dogs. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, a hot dog with a batter on a stick. Uh, a corn dog. Yeah, and okay. some you know meat sandwiches. There's fries, three. chicken fingers. Yeah. Okay, perfect. It's uh, a fried food. There's usually uh, so, sometimes there may be some alcohol, but there there's not currently served at this time. Okay, I like. Uh, uh, how stealthy are we trying to be right now? Out of character, like, should can I go get a get? A, <laughs> like, should I maybe go like? distract people by eating a lot of food <laughs> that's all i have that's like literally i have nothing else i can do with this door that unless you want me to like Aria. strong arm it open <laughs> but that might draw attention i mean how you want to approach that infiltration it's entirely up to you if you want to go you know let's through the door open uh and go in regardless you can do that or you can you know attempt a distraction distraction are always useful especially if you know some of your party member may be attempting to snatch certain items from uh, innocent by bystanders i mean what you could do is start an eating contest between the two of you get everybody looking your way and i just oh. stealthily take something we could probably make some money off of this, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. I go up to the... <laughs> oh, Soggy, are you into this? I don't want to force you to do something you don't want to do. Soggy takes a while to consider this thought because the food that Soggy is observing in Sagi's opinion, is vile and a an offense to the entire industry of cuisine. So it's like, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells greasy and no. Uh, it's delicious. <laughs> it's all that Sabine's about. Like, she loves that shit. Uh, and the whole time, while uh, while this was going on, what, what Soggy was doing was kind of looking around and taking a look at all this and thinking back to restaurants experiences and having to like redo orders that didn't come out well because the, the, the customer thought that it was vile and disgusting and it's kind of like going through past orders on their notepad. And I would like to cast hands, uh, hands of fate. 
Okay, can you uh, provide me with the description of that spell? Yes, I can manipulate fate to help my allies. When I cast the spell, um, if I meet the target number, I get a total bonus equal to my stunt die plus one. For the remainder of the encounter, which I'm assuming would be yeah, like us trying to infiltrate, yeah. um, whatever that total is, I can then like piecemeal giving that bonus to help people meet the threshold of whatever skill they're trying, like test they're trying to make. All right, yeah, go for it. Roll, uh, roll to see if you, well, succeed at casting it. You do have, I do believe, some little bonus right now that help you with things like that. So Saki uses this to help the cooks at the concession stand make better food. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, oh, did I did I say that I was using it for our party? Because I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Saki's using their power for good, which is making uh, better food. And uh, as I'm writing this on the, the I have the staff yeah. uh, with me, kind of tucked under my arm, away from my pizza peel. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm still writing you fiercely. You don't want to get in the fight, right? Yeah, I, I need to like introduce them to each other slowly, you know. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> like introducing yeah. a new pet to the household, you want to feed them together. Yeah. Maybe have like a partition where like they feel like they're in community, but they can't get to each other. Um, you also have to like keep them separated for a while just to make sure like the the new pet that you just adopted doesn't have any sort of like communicable diseases or anything like that, you know. No. And then then you can introduce them. Yeah, basically um, like a cat. Yeah. The plague. Yeah. So I uh, have it tucked under my arm, and I'm writing fiercely in this in my notepad. And Sabine, as you're watching me do this and talking to me, um, I guess this is where it kind of comes into play, like some of the effects of it, like my apron and stuff that I have on. It's now like a full on like chef's coat, like the white coat that chefs have. Um, because it gives me like a bonus to my defense and stuff. Um, I'm not aware of this, but I look fabulous. Yes. And so I have a little bonus now. Um, yes, so let's you do add plus two bonus to your casting roll. So. And as Soggy is casting that, you can see like the, the staff like just faintly glowing. Uh, uh, I succeed. I got his, yes, no stunt points. No stun point. Um, All right. Uh, but my stunt die plus one would be a total of five. So I have five points that I can like spread out if needed. All right. That's as good. long as you're within like 60 feet of me, 20 yeah. yards. And I mean, you know, the size of this place, it's easy to be within a range, especially if you decide to like to move around. Yeah. Yeah. I get, I guess. I guess I could do it. I'm trying to look back. I'm trying to see if I ever had to do a hot dog. I'm trying to think what else may have been on there. I think I may have had to do that one. So I think I'm, I think I know what's in here. I think we. I think I can do this with you. You you down? You you want to do this? You you think you can take me? I think the question is, do you think you could take me? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, That's true. Well, um. Let I will go up to the concession stand and be like, "Hey, my friend and I want to have an eating contest, and we think that that'll help you draw more of the tourists here to your stand." Yeah. So at, at the, behind the counter, you do meet like this, you know, you know, craggly little figure with like their, their hair like all tied up, a little net so that it doesn't get in your food, uh, because you know, food safety is important. And you don't want this to be, you know, people's hair in your food. Mm -hmm. uh, and very average looking uh, human. What, what do you mean an eating contest? Uh, like. Like to see how much. how To see if we can feed each other eating the most food. Okay. Okay. Uh, suppose I can do that. And they just look <laughs> like doing this, a small. A uh, window at you know people working actually ki the kitchen. Uh, do we, like like do you want like hot dog eating contest uh, or? I mean we we have the menu there like we have like chicken finger, hot dog and corn dog. Like how many do you want to order for your, your contest? Like how much? How many items are on the menu? So, <laughs> it's not a very diverse menu, right? Um, there's you know. Hot dog, fries, 
onion rings, corn dogs, hamburger, uh, pears, you know, uh, well, uh, essentially the equivalent of a pizza fries, bacon cheese fries yeah and um, there, there's pizza just you know low, low. It's, uh, Chili the, 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 the pizza fries. is very display temperature so it's as you know like like a bit uh like a, like two two copper slice type of deal pretzels pretzels um i'll look to soggy and say well it all looks good to me but you said hot dogs for you oh mm. And every time a, a different item gets mentioned, <laughs> so he's like trying to hold back uh, dry heaping. Mm hmm. Are you sure? Mm hmm. We could do we could do pizza. <laughs> and you see, like, you see, see, the mention of pizza. <laughs> like, you see the pizza, like, well, I mean, the pizza that we have right now is like what's there in the display. Um, and it's like like large slice of pizza <laughs> that is display temperature and well know that uh, all meat pizza on display temperature is just a health hazard um but you know depending if i'll soggy feel about that it's i, I know the being does not give a fuck with, it's it's only a, no this is this is fair the player talking about it's only a health hazard with that kind of attitude okay <laughs> <laughs> um I've never had a display pizza do me dirty. <laughs> Saki lights up at the mention of pizza and then sees this and think it's even sadder than the hot dogs, but we'll go uh, like it will take a gulp and a deep breath and say it's on. Let's do this. All, right. All the pizzas that you have. All right. Currently in the display there's like one and three quarter like 15 inch pizzas. Uh, I mean, we can make more. Uh, I mean, you no, want to buy what's well, there. Well, see, I know the whole the whole purpose of this whole thing is that we want to help draw attention to your stand, uh, to your stand. But we we don't want to like eat you out of all your supplies, right? So we just want to like help help you market your your stand, right? Like yeah, it's gonna go I, viral. I, I People that. are gonna appreciate this. You know, lots of attention. All right. What about this? Soggy does pizza. And I'll do one of everything. Okay, we, we can do that. So, uh, so like one hot dog, one like do you want like onion rings? Do you want like some gravy on your on your fries, and like some little cheese yes. on it? All right. And we, oh, we get... cheese, little cheese on the fries. Yeah, cheese and gravy. It's and amazing. Style. Gravy on the fries. How about this? Actually, how about? Hmm, I have an idea. What do you need some help with? Uh, with back, back there, do you need some help with in the kitchen? Do you need some help making some of these pizzas? I mean, I'm pretty sure that Bob can handle it, but but look at look at this person with their immaculate chef's clothes and their pizza peel. Who and I turn around trying to like make sure I put the pizza peel, peel in their face. Like, who are you talking? Where? Where do you see them? I mean, I'm not the, the boss of. This and uh, I'm not sure that okay. we could really you know pay somebody that's not on payroll for for it, you know. But I mean, oh, if you want no, to, I, guess with the food. I understand what it's like to just like work somewhere and not being not feeling empowered to make some decisions. I think right, you like, know, I, I'm like okay. I'm not the manager of this place, and I you know don't make those decisions. I'm sure that you you are very competent with. Your pizza peel. No, that's fair. I, I respect like, this. You're, like, honestly, the first person I see, like just walking around with one. So, uh, but yeah, we can like we can make like an extra like pizza. There's like one and three quarter there, and we can like I don't know get your order in like in fifteen minutes or so, maybe like twenty with a pizza. Oh, that's a lot. I'll, I'll look at, at at Sabine and be like, I mean, so. she she just like ordered like one of everything, right? So there's like there's a lot of food to cook. I mean, That's like, there, there, I mean, some of it is probably like gonna be like ready real quick. Like the price is not gonna take some time, a lot of time. We'll take and a little. Like, just, like I can like literally can like give you a hot dog right now. Like it's in the steamer. I'm just we'll take a hot dog to... and the fries. All right. So what do you okay, want on your yeah. hot dog? And your like massive hot dog, like you know, four foot long. Mustard French ketchup fries, and right. the chicken. So oh. <laughs> Are you saying a hot dog for you or just or for me? I was just looking at what was readily available. 
on the oh. on the condiment stand. <laughs> Sabine's too ambitious. <laughs> She's like, I want a hot dog, I want French fries on it, and I want a chicken tender on it. <laughs> All right, we can do that. Uh, I know. It's gonna... For someone who's never been here before, oh. it's like you know what's off the menu, like the secret menu. And some of the ooh, and some of the nacho cheese. Like all that. I'm actually the... making my. I'm making myself hungry. I'm not gonna. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I and would the... eat this. It what? sounds disgusting, but I would eat it. And, and Sagi will like lean as as you're like looking at things to possibly put on your hot dog. Sagi's gonna lean over. Um, God, basically kneel down. Uh, forgot that you're a halfling, and <laughs> is I want to try and whisper to you out of earshot of this person, saying like, I I don't know that we're gonna be able to get away with doing an eating contest, but you know what else will draw some attention over here? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, since this is your first time eating this kind of thing, maybe you don't necessarily know how to eat it. Maybe somebody, oh no, you're choking. Let me help give you some first aid. Oh, you want me to pretend like I'm choking? Is it because I'm so small? I mean, not because you're small, but because we want to take attention away from what. Uh, um, I mean, I have had this food before, but uh, oh. like just not just not here. Um, but I mean, I could try. I could try. Maybe I uh, ate too fast. There you go. Ooh, hot burn sometimes feels like you're choking. Okay. Really. I don't really know. <laughs> okay, I could pretend to do that. All right, so that's going to be fine. like. You know, tw and like, uh, uh, like two silver for the whole thing. Like, it was it was paying. Like, I I you know I need I need the money before I can like I have food cooked, right? Oh, <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a line of customers behind us, like yeah. I'm great because we're taking so much. We've all been behind that person that just like order everything on the menu, and it, you just want to be there like, honestly, for, like one thing. And it changes their mind. Honestly. I, I honestly feel for the people behind us because I hate that person in real yes. life. I'm like, get out of the line. Why are you ordering for the whole village? Okay, I just want my chicken nuggets. <laughs> get out of the way. I came here knowing what I want. <laughs> um, oh, I'll, but I, I will. I'll just slide like a gold or whatever, whatever I have. I think I have gold. Yeah, I mean, different people in the service industry, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Um, Cool. Uh, can I have that like ready? Like, you can just stand there. Like, you can well, I can just basically take the whole pizza that's right in the display. Oh, can I have a drink too? Uh, sure. We have uh some fizzy sugar water. Whatever tastes good. All right. I don't I have mean, a preference. Cool. We got that. Uh, do you do you want something too? Uh, big guy. Uh. I'll, some of that fizzy sugar water is good too. All right, like Wait, do, do they have do they have slushies? <laughs> this is me. This is me as a player just asking <laughs> questions that don't. You know matter. what? Roll me a d6. Oh, the Come answer on, was just yes. <laughs> it's just pretty much chick if the slushy machine is broken. I got a six. Is it, it it's broken? working. It's working. It's not an ice cream machine. It's a slushy machine. That's what. That's a McDonald's, right? This isn't McDonald's. It's working. It's just chicken finger flavored slushy. <laughs> that would be terrible. Fuck. Oh god. That's disgusting. I mean, but they Sabine have pickle juice. Yeah. Sabine would drink it. Sabine yeah. would try it. I've seen that. Um. Okay. Actually. Oh. You have one of those slushies. Can I have a blue one? Yeah. Uh. It's a blue can strawberry. A blue yeah, we can mix? we can give you that. Can I have blue red mix? <laughs> red mix, sure. Okay. Like you just, <laughs> just go between blue red blue red on the bot machine. Yeah. Like a yeah. little oh, like, so everybody has done that. Oh yeah. Like you so guys, I, 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 I'm the one who does that. You know me. I do that. <laughs> yeah. If you have not done that, are you even living? Right. Um, I want it. I want. Uh, oh, I don't want to say that word on stream. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I know what it's called, but I don't want to say it. Um, 
Okay, okay. And we just wait over here? Okay. Yeah. And I'm just waiting. <laughs> I can't even look over the counter. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, we, there's stuff that can... is not readily available to you right now. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you have your hot dog and like, essentially you just, just bought the entire dis pizza display. Um, I take my pizza peel and basically hold it out like a tray so they can put everything on it that Sabine yeah. has ordered. Oh. I yeah. like do the do like this at Saki before I take my food. Like, look at how professional. <laughs> look how well they use this pizza peel. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then I take my my disgusting but delicious hot dog. <laughs> And it it takes some time. The, pe the people that were behind you like were annoyed because you know you, you took forever for your order, uh, but uh, eventually all your food comes out. Like you know, item by item, it comes out like on a tray. And honestly, like it takes like three trays like for all the food because there's just so damn much, and it's they're like all full. Like there's you know, super sized fry with like gravy and cheese, like onion rings, like possibly like every item that you can see. I mean you order every item on the menu so yeah there's there's a lot of food and there's people are like just like giving you like a look like is she gonna like eat all that like is that like is that like for the group or just like for herself I fucking I have all my stuff put on the t on the table and I go to town <laughs> yeah and they're not for they're not like they're like Table like they're they're made like for like maybe like two three people so like two three trays and maybe a bit of space. Uh, yeah, all your food is taking the entire table, and you probably have to like drag one more for for the rest. Um, yeah. And Soggy's just there on the side, like hyping up and like, yeah, you gotta find. I I I don't know. It looks like a lot. I don't know if she's gonna be able. The only way to find out is if you stick around. Well, what dinner and a show, everybody? While you're waiting in line, come check out the uh, amazing. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> incredible hot dog eater. Incredible food eater. Um, All I we can say out, is Ari. We should put a, a little like tip jar thing so people could pay me. <laughs> My chef's hat comes off and I uh, <laughs> pull that out on the pizza peel and I just start moving the pizza peel around waiting for people to, to tip. Ari is just like fucking hell. Yeah, Arya is currently, like, leaning on a wall, just watching this all, looking like she's just waiting for someone. Yeah. Nonchalantly, like you do. And just seeing this, she's just like, oh, God. This is not going to end well. And just, like, seeing where her mark is that she's going to go after. Once so, they're distracted. I'm not sure what to make your role for, like, consuming that amount of food. If it should just be a constitution test. Or just like a willpower courage because you need some courage to eat all that. Um, Who needs courage? <coughs> nobody eat all of that food. I mean, then again, it's Sabine. Have you met Sabine? Yeah, I think it's a it's a, a yeah. constitution heartburn roll. Yeah. So give me a constitution stamina test. The uh, because it is a lot of food. It is an imposing test. <laughs> Nineteen. Uh huh. Uh, but it's I believe in Sabine. Yeah, I believe I believe in Sabine. Okay, hold on. So you said Constitution stamina. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to like do inc increment, uh, like, like in like increment, like you know, from challenging to going to imposing. Um, yeah, can we do that? Yeah, just so, so that we fun. see like how much food you eat. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So like, first, like first test roll is like thirteen. I'm sure it's mean you okay. can do that. It would be a shame oh, if, you don't, if you don't used... do that, like on your first one. I yeah. use channel so... points to lower it. All right, so the test is a twelve. <laughs> can you? Can she? Can she use it to lower the imposing one? <laughs> I will allow it. All right, awesome. So the first one you said thirteen. I yeah. I got that. I also got four stunt points. Can I just like put those stunt points towards like my next roll or something? Yeah, I'm, uh, essentially like if you like you generate some stunt point, I'm gonna like yeah. like. Go like Cause decrease it. the. Uh, yeah, I, got, I, the I got seven. I got seventeen on this one. All right. Yeah. And you just like you go ham at the food. Mm -hmm. What'd you say, Juice? Oh, that uh, I have 
a bank as well that I can add to whatever you're doing so, so that you can okay. succeed. Yeah. Okay. So right. what's the challenge of the next one? Uh, it would be 17. Um, I definitely got it. That's a just on the die is sixteen. On the die is sixteen, and my con is three, and I got uh six more. St I got five more stun points. <laughs> like and you're like you you just like slam through all the pizzas. Like you use you, like you using like the gravy from those fries as leverage to like get eat more food, and uh, that's mm -hmm. why she like to just you know wash things down you know between. Throwing things. Yeah. Um, I get a brain um, freeze, but I don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> While this is happening, Arya is going to be trying to get the crowd, like, going, go, 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 go. And anybody that's there. Yeah. Anybody that's, like, trying to cheer the few people that are here to encourage Sabine, Sabine going absolutely ham on all the food. Uh, give me a communication. Um... Persuasion, I, I suppose. Okay. I'm actually trained in that. Out of, so, uh, out of character... So, Soggy is going to look over at uh, your Arya, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, he's going to look over at Arya and kind of look a little confused. Uh, it was like, kind of like, give one of those, like, what are you doing? We're doing this to distract so that you can get an in, but it's also, like, not trying to give it away. So, it's just... Also hyping up the crowd, but just has a very confused face while hyping up the crowd. Yeah. Like, why are we doing this if you're standing there? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm actually going to do passionate inspiration. All right. And use two of it. So when Arya does go to uh, snatch the ID, uh, she'll get a plus two bonus to my next action. All right. So what's your... And uh... I rolled a ninth. Yeah, I rolled a 18. Yeah, 18? Yeah. Uh, plus two stunt points. So it would have been a plus two using passionate inspiration. Oh, that plus two is to me? No, to me. Oh, okay, okay. I was confused. Because I'm okay. going to be the ones trying to steal something. So. Okay. And so you're yeah. trying to hype up the car as well? Yeah, I rolled a 10. Not that great. Yeah. It's yeah. probably because I you're like very confused by you know, <laughs> what Arya's doing. And also, like, Soggy's a, Sog a fine dining person, I'm assuming. Or finer dining. Uh, that is what Soggy has been trying to convey. Yes. Yeah, yeah so probably somebody, like, going that it's much ham. Like, I the words I chose there. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, uh, looking very confused at Arya, but also looking very confused also as well at Sabine, like... Okay, are, are you, when are you going to choke? <laughs> Basically. I feel like I don't need to choke because everyone's paying attention to me. Yeah, no, like, for sure. The song is still like, cheering and going like, like little hand. Hand. Also, she's like way too into this food. <laughs> like, at first, it wasn't like many people, though. It's like maybe like the people behind you and like the cash, the, 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 the person at the cash. But as you like, like go through that food, you attract a little bit of a crowd. Like, like this tiny little athlete, just like eating everything on the menu. It's quite impressive. Like at first you got like their curiosity, like okay, what the heck is going on? Now you fully have their attention. Um, so you can give me that last uh, constitution stamina test and you can uh, lower that. It would normally be a 19, but you can lower it to 18. And Arya, if you want to, you know, uh, try to pickpocket the uh, uh, service and the maintenance people that are very, like, they were, like, cleaning things. Now they're very intrigued about Sabine and wondering, you know, if they're going to have you know, to possibly do a cleanup on aisle five later because somebody consuming that much mm -hmm. food will possibly not feel so, super well. What is it again? It is uh, 18. Constitution's time enough. 18? Okay. And this would be a uh, dexterity pickpocketing, correct? Uh, correct. Okay. Sorry, I'm struggling <laughs> with my math. So that uh, is a 21 for me. Oh, oh to yeah. Pickpocket. Like, oh, sh oh, without shit. that person noticing, like, 
they're so entranced and you just like so agile like they don't notice it being done in their belt and you now have an id card oh i'm i got 17. okay do you have your things soggy <laughs> yes or do you i see want, she said being get sick <laughs> i see i see sabine starting to get sick like they, they bit off a little bit more that they could chew um and uh i think with this it, with the discretion of having been having it already prepared mm-hmm. uh, i think soggy's just gonna be more rather than being like an overt display of arcana um is kind of after hyping the crowd is going to turn to you and kind of just put a hand on your shoulder and like look at you and kind of just give you that like that that look of like you got this you can do this to give you that bump of that extra one to help you reach the threshold uh, you you are at the point that you like you like you you finish that slushy that i'm hitting that wall you're, you're hitting that wall there's nothing like that slushy has been gone for like the past two like couple like yeah thing, eight, and i and, and I nothing just to wash it down ice biscuit the shit is dry and i yeah <laughs> and i hand you the my my fizzy sugar water to help you keep it down yeah you <laughs> like you don't feel great like that much food you're not gonna feel great even for sabine because that's why it's not necessarily the best food either and as as that's happening uh the, the i'm assuming that like the crowd's like waiting for her to just hurl yeah. uh and like that the mo- the cheering has like subsided it's like a moment of silence and then you take that final gulp and then I like just throw my hands up and cheer and try to get the crowd to kind of jump in with me to create a big commotion while Arya is oh in the back doing something let else. Me, let me riff off of this. Everybody, there's like a dead silence. Everyone's waiting for me to puke. And I'm like, I look like I'm like trying to hold something back. And then like what comes out is just a huge belch. Yes! <laughs> and as you belch, like, everybody goes, <laughs> yes! <laughs> like you, you, you even hear like Bob, like that is working in the kitchen. That you, not, you have not even seen their face. You can still hear them cheer from there. Yeah! Like, uh, the crowd inside the stadium begins to cheer at this belch, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it echoes like it, 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 it is. A, it is a concrete structure, and it just echoes like throughout yep. the structure. <laughs> yep. As it does. Yeah. People are and impressed. I like, I like dab delicately in my mouth. <laughs> Very daintily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hand you the yeah. dish cloth on my on my belt. Oh, thank you. But yeah. That you was have, delicious. You have successfully like consume calories for a week. Uh for a normal person. Okay, but how like much money day. do we make? That's the real question. Uh, <laughs> I mean, people were not expecting a show, uh, but just like maybe like a few copper being tossed in there, uh, like so, like maybe like uh, you know a silver and an half. Wow, wow, paid in exposure, great. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect? <laughs> money Wait, what do you mean what i expect i told i told you what i expect i yeah i look in my hat and i'm like looking through and i'm like wait a second first of all this isn't the hat that i came here with second of all is there a hole in it because there should be a lot more in here i mean there wasn't that many people to begin with right so mm-hmm. well and i'll look over at the person serving and be like you can tell your manager you're welcome also you're 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 gonna be in the black after the at the end of this because of what uh this one did over here so i don't know next time we come to the stadium remember these faces and i'll like lean down and put my green face next to sabine's green eyes be like remember these faces you owe us sure sure I, i'm sure i can like talk to the manager for like some strange food endorsement or something like i don't know like, or like a hologram of sabine just eating all the food or i don't know the the uh, ultimate hot dog combo platter, yeah, for life. Yeah, like you know, like uh, the, the weird like hot dog thing. I can just like call that like the Sabine special and just put it on the menu and like. Yeah, you could do that, but you can't use my likeness without um, paying me. All right, but I can use your name, right? I mean, Sabine mm. is a very common name. Mm, is it? I mean. I don't know 
any other Sabine, but mm -hmm. I should... uh, we can talk. I, I can talk to the manager. This is also about my it. lawyer, just so you know. Right. I mean, you want to be very careful about using other people's likenesses, even if you're trying to like use a name that like sounds too much like it. You're getting into really dicey water there. So you really want to make sure that you are appropriately compensating people the inspiration for any choices that you're making as a business, so that it doesn't come back to back. Uh, uh, this is a conversation for your manager and the owner yeah. of this. Like I, so. I, I, I'm like I'm just like thinking ID because I mean that was like super impressive, honestly. Like I've never seen like. Even like full grown, I mean, I'm sure like you're, you're like full grown athling, like, you know, larger people not eat that much food. And I work in a goddamn stadium where like people eat sometimes like pigs. So, um, yeah, that was. A... Do people have donuts? I mean, there's a donut stall like way like a different side of the place, but they're closed like on Sunday, so. Are they good donuts? I mean, they're okay. I mean, do they how many flavors do they have? I I don't know. I don't work there. Like I, like I just like you know go get there like a terrible <laughs> coffee and get here to work. Uh, and I did not well, have a terrible coffee today. So, in addition to being my lawyer, my friend here also as just in their spare time. Works at Dragons and Donuts. Okay. As the main baker. I mean, they may be What's hiring. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know what the point of this is. <laughs> it's like it's okay. They they mentioned this other place. The donuts are just okay. I don't think we have anything to worry about. It's not any company. This is a very specific kind of establishment. They just get what they need to get them through the the performance of the the sports ball or whatever's going on here. It's all fine. You know what? Hopefully, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy whatever tips and bonuses you make out of this. Uh, you're welcome. And uh, have yourself a good day. And I'm going to turn around, flashing that pizza peel one more time, and kind of check out what Aria might be doing off in the distance. Yeah. And I'm hoping I won't see Aria. Oh, can we say that I like say. my food trays are stacked up so high that nobody could see her? <laughs> When they're, when they're carried. I would say Aria has already headed back to the yeah. door and is just waiting for you to uh, come back because when you steal something, you want to be out of the area immediately so you don't get caught. All right. So I'm assuming you go and regroup with Aria, take a look around, make sure that nobody's paying attention to you, really. Can I take a look and see if there's any... Um carts that they might use to deliver like oh they need more french fries because sabine has eaten them out of house and home and so they need to deliver them on like a cart of some sort that maybe we can use as a literally a getaway cart uh for aria sure give me a perception searching or seeing I mean, even just like a janitor's cart would work too that that's kind of what i was picturing but with food on it <laughs> Bringing more supplies from the back. I like that. Seven, so all my games that I run like end up like revolving around like some kind of food related activity. I'm not sure what it's saying about me. I mean, I start. I started this one. Hey, this is a very I, I long, but very fun. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. So yeah, you do. Uh, you do find um, what essentially you know, like uh, a little card that you can like, sometimes use to like go to like the the bigger uh, I, I was gonna say refrigerator but it's like more like a cooler it's not necessarily like in the same space as the restaurant it's a bit outside mm -hmm. um and there's you know a card there that's not currently in in use it's just there they're probably gonna have to use it because uh, some of the stocks have been recently promptly consumed uh uh, Are you feeling well enough to like walk on your own, or do you need to be uh, wheeled away, Sabine? Oh, I feel fine. Okay, I'll clock that the cart is there. I don't know that I necessarily feel like I have a reason for it just yet. But I oh, know is that what know. is that what you were looking for? for yeah, security? like a <laughs> <laughs> two wheel away from the emergency. That's so funny. That's amazing. Like a like a gurney or a stretcher. 
<laughs> like, I just want to just take it now. <laughs> and that's how we got away. Uh, are like are you trying to like uh, get in that door like without you know paying too much attention. Uh, just all of you, give me a, just a general uh, dexterity stealth. I might need to use the rest of this fake Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna use the re-roll. Go for it. It's not a very high oh, yeah, that's test. Hard. Oh, yike. DC. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm... I still don't think I got to that DC. What did you get? <laughs> What's the what's the DC? It, it is an average test, like an anything above a ten. <laughs> no. Uh, sixteen with five stunt points. Um, uh, Sabine, how far away from a ten are you? Oh, it's a six, honey, with one stunt point. <laughs> I rolled a seven. I have four points left. So. One of us is gonna fail <laughs> pretty bad. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna take the mind. average of the I group. Don't... Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Arya. Oh. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can find any stunt because I have five of them that might help you guys, <laughs> especially since she rolled a 16. Yeah, I rolled an eight. I have a minus one to dex. I have a plus two to dex. I just roll like absolute dog shit. <laughs> yeah, this is for, uh, out of character. Like for me, like juice. I love playing rogues, so to roll a stealth this terribly was like oof. Juice, that hurt your you soul. You know I love a rogue. You know I love a rogue. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's and honestly, too. I rolled. Here's what I rolled. I got a two and then two ones. That's rough. Yike. So stun points? Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to look to see if there's anything that might actually help us. Uh, <laughs> is there anything that would help you though, Sabine? Um, I mean, yeah. no, I only I, have one stun point. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that would really. Um, help. How many stun points did you, did you generate, uh, Aria? Five. Five. All right. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's use resources and use four of your stun point. You somehow like use the card that Soggy brought nearby to possibly at least hide uh, Sabine behind it as she slips away. <laughs> just, just stuff me in it. <laughs> just sneaks in. Nobody sees Arya yeah. whatsoever. Meanwhile, I'm, the cart has like a squeaky wheel, and like <laughs> Sabine is so relaxed after all that food that like even though there's fabric on the sides of this cart. A leg is just sticking out the side. Yeah. So it, it, it was just no, little, yeah. it was not <laughs> optimal, uh, to say the least. But you managed to make it at least you know in the maintenance and basement area. Uh, well, or what is going to lead to the basement area of the stadium, and that's where we're going to take a little break so I can recover from all that food consumption, and uh, see what awaits you on the other side and so yeah we're gonna be right back in a few minutes and for probably not more food related things who knows they might find somebody's lunch or something uh, and we'll be or right back
and we are back uh, with uh, following the food heist um our party managed to get into some of the more maintenance area of the stadium and explore the, uh, these locations um you are met here with a very generic like just concrete all way um, like some water damage and things like that from years and years of it, it is a maintenance area that is surprisingly poorly maintained um, but you are currently out of the general public and at, at this moment at least uh, you do not see any worker around but you do like not like uh, just taking a look around you're able to see some like possible like storage a room um, and what is most likely uh, employee break area what do you wish to do Okay, so from what I saw on the map, we should be heading this way, towards the basement. And from there we can probably figure out if this is possibly where they're hiding out, or if it's somewhere else. Though I do believe, find if they are here, then retreat, get our friends, and then come back. Okay. Yeah. I have a hard time hearing you right now. How dare you? I know, I have a right? I'm hearing me right now. Is that better? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Like I've what about now? Before. Yeah. Yeah, now it's good. Yeah. yeah. For a moment, okay, there, it's like you if you were muted, but not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Technology. Yep. Exactly. Well, it's not a stream what I... unless you have problems. Yeah, well, what I was saying was, well, I think the faster we do this, the better, because I'm actually really tired right now. I'm sleepy. I yes, wonder if it's all the carbs. So let's get going. Act uh, like we belong here. You'll be surprised uh, how many people just ignore you. I. Okay. This means, like, how do I act like I belong here? I've never been here. I don't even know what people do here. Are you still on the squeaky cart? I don't know. You tell me. Is the squeak? <laughs> do we do we still have the squeaky cart? I mean, you still have the squeaky cart. Should I just? I have probably I just, just moves arm back into place. I think it was a leg. <laughs> leg arm. I don't know. Things got weird. <laughs> So I'm just on this cart, like underneath the flat, underneath the tablecloth or whatever. Yeah. All right. I mean, technically, Sabine would be the only one that would probably fit. Okay. With well, I mean, any type of comfort. That's fine. I could do that. I okay. uh, also, uh, I mean, I do have short, stubby legs, so I can't walk as fast as you all anyway. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I'm wondering, uh, could. I want to cast another spell. Okay. I have a cat. How do how frequently do are my and my MP regenerate? Do like refresh so, every day? Yeah, so technically, like every time you when you're out of combat, it more or less regenerate real quick. Um, okay. Like, I think it's after like every like quick rest, you regenerate. So. Sounds good. I have I have plenty, so like I'm I don't I'm not running out right now. I was just curious. So let me. I want to do Strings of Fate. Okay. Um, what does String of Fate do? I pull the Web of Fate to favor my party. For the remainder of the encounter, um, uh, me and my allies within 10 yards gain uh, an additional stunt point whenever we generate stunt points. Okay. And Ooh. since we're not really in an encounter, we're just going to call it like for the duration of this scene. Yeah. Okay, that's cool with me. I'm also cool if you're like, nah, let's just leave that for combat. 
No, it's good. I like it. All right. I like I like like a utility spell like that. That is eight, ten, twelve, seventeen. Yeah, I appreciate music. Uh, nope, seventeen, twenty. Okay. Mm. And Prisha will meet whatever uh, target you have to for that casting, right? Yeah, it does, for sure. It's a 14 plus 5 stunt points. Okay. So, spell stunt points. Hmm. Uh, I mean, you're not going to be able to do lethal spell and murder your party, so... I know, I'm like... <laughs> uh, and as far as I know, we don't have any magic on us, so... Oh, maybe uh, magic shoe. Um, let's maybe do lasting spell. Oh yeah, let's see how long does it last. This spell lasts. Let's take the until the end of an encounter, right? Yeah. So yeah, let's we can do lasting spell, and you know, I would like. Maybe a bit further in this, like in this next scene, depending on how long. Uh, oh yeah, sure. I'm down for that. Let's do yeah. that. Um, that cool. is lasting spell, and then. If you had what seven a stunt point or six, uh, five. five, so I'll just do skillful casting. So I'll just reduce it by one MP. Sounds good to me. All right. So, um, exploring the tunnel. Uh, with a variable level of stealth. Uh, I'm not sure if the squeaky wheel is more or less stealth stealthier than Sabine at the moment. But uh, probably more. Probably more. I got a I got a six. It has to be more. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just navigating through this, you're able to find essentially a maintenance uh, maintenance shaft an elevator that will bring you down to what will be the uh, basement level, no problem. And avoiding, like I said, like a skeleton crew, like most people are just like working, like you know, uh, like mowing the lawn on the fields and things like that, and making sure that there's like not too much garbage around, and probably somebody is like busy cleaning all the places that were used. Um, but yeah, you're able to go into the basement area. Now, like you, like you have like general idea of where you may be based on those uh, schematic, um, and your general sense of direction. Just for that, how well you're able to find yourself around. Uh, if Arya, you, I'm assuming you are more or less. Uh, Leading this around, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you give me? Hmm. Intelligence navigation. Okay. That's not bad. So the. Please stand by while I do math. Uh, 16 and 4 stunt points. Okay. Uh, so you can use those stunt points for exploration. You have a few options when it comes to exploration stunt as well. Okay, let's see. You get one. If you generate a stunt point, you get one more. Ooh, so I have five. Um, you may want to put one point in advantage just positioning. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Want to use with a flourish? I'm going to probably go with uh, the object of your attention. You receive a plus one bonus to further tests to examine or perceive additional aspects of an object of your test and since Arya is kind of look, standing around looking for any 
sign of the cult. I'm kind of leaning towards that. All right, fantastic. So you, you take a look around, like try, like try to pay attention to anything that may be out of the ordinary, maybe slightly out of place, uh, but not enough that it, you know, it is an ob obvious sign like in neon it says like cult meeting down below. Um, so you navigate around and take it like amongst yourself, it takes you a little bit and you pay attention to uh, a schematic that you have of the place. And like about like maybe like 15, 20 minutes in, you do come to essentially what would be like a, cor like a corner and that would essentially allow you to go around an area. Uh, you do look on like some of the schematic, you, see, you do see that there is part of the tunnel here, like the this, this hallway tunnel uh, was going a bit further, pre oh, like on on some older schematic, but it it seems to be just like just turning right instead, um, and not going uh, continue in that same direction. Um, she's gonna investigate that wall to see if there's any like loose fitting mm -hmm. stone or anything that might show that this could be a there could be like a hidden door or something sounds good to me uh can you give me an intelligence i think would be perception searching i would say would work here okay let's see that would be a 15. All right. No stunt points. And I do believe that uh, with what you previously add, it did help you a little oh, bit, right? Yeah, it would um, be 16 then. All right. So you take a moment, uh, ma making sure that, you know, nobody around is possibly stumbling upon you where you sh when you should not be here. And what you do notice, like just searching the area just around with... Possibly some extra light. Uh, it's a little um, like where like the, the the stone wall the stone wall is. There seem to be just a little like uh, I, I, say, I say like like a crack in the wall, like you know, like trying to find a proper word for it. And I cannot English for save my life tonight apparently. Uh, essentially, th th there seemed to be like what would have been like a door there, uh, but it's just like a little, and you see, also see a little, a little bit of an indent uh, at the bottom, uh, like bottom left of that area. Not anything that would be naturally caused. Okay, uh, she's going to probably press around that indent and see if there's any movement or anything like that. And just, like, feel around the air edges just to see if she can find any way that this could indeed be a door. Okay. Or an entrance of some sort. So are you pressing, like, in the indent or just, like, feeling mm -hmm. around? So, as you do press that indent, uh, Part of the wall just like slide a bit back and just become you know, a bit more um, more like a door instead of just a wall that you're able to possibly push in uh before she pushes in she kind of stops stands up looks to the other two and go Okay, so hidden door, either we can go explore deeper or turn around and go find our friends and then come back. What do you guys um, think? I think it's only three of us right now. and We don't know what we'd be up against. And Ava yeah, has most of the weapons. Think.
Oh. Yeah, all I have is my daggers. That's it. And she kind of also, sheets. I'm, I'm very sleepy. <laughs> and there's uh, that too. Are we getting a response from Sabine, or are we just hearing snoring under the curtain? <sighs> <laughs> and this is a conversation it's like she's sleep she's sleep talking that's what's happening she's sleep talking any regrets uh, of Sabine's part it's like I'm awake but I'm also like just um, drowsy so it's just like well, I think we should just like go for our friends five more minutes mom yeah Are you I'm like gonna, as, I'm what's... like a kid at the t- at a, the table at a restaurant just in the like <laughs> Just I would out. say after like the two and a half months of Arya being with Sabine, she's like, you know, on second thought, let's go get our friends. It's like, is this is this normal? As I whispered to Arya out of, even though Arya, I mean, Sabine is right there. Oh, were you talking about the food coma? Oh yeah, this is normal. No, I I, I see that a lot. I'm I'm used to it. I just don't know, I don't I don't know if you agree with that much. That to me is a sign, like, I was judging that food stand because uh, it's not the level of what I like to prepare. But when I see my customers in this kind of state of ecstasy post consumption, that means you've done a good job. So I got to give my props to that stand. Oh, yeah. Anytime I find a restaurant that gets me into this position because the food was just so good and you just want to keep eating. That is one that I will continue to go to. So I, I think it's but a anyways. good idea to rejoin up with the rest of the group. Yeah. Let's but go we'll back and get I'm just here as a I'm just here kind of tagging along. And I thank you. You actually did help us um get this and she pulls out the key card. Which definitely helped us get in here. So I'm glad we found you and you decided to come with us. So. <laughs> and she pats your shoulder. Because I think uh, Arya and Soggy are about the same size. And yeah. Arya is very tall. Mm-hmm. The dice were nice to me that day. So I guess very okay. broad, so Arya could probably also hide, like, because of heights, could also hide easily behind Soggy. Mm-hmm. So can Sabine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sabine can hide anywhere. <laughs> yep. Okay, so let's head back. Oh my god, if I were to put my pizza peel, like, peel side down, Sabine could literally hide behind that. <laughs> I would grant to be t- some cover with that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's the like extra, extra large for those really big pizzas. That, that's really good. And uh, I guess we get, we turn, either we turn around or we continue on following the um, uh, skinematics I have. That would lead us back out. Skinematic? Did you say the skinematic? Skinematic. Skinematics. No, schematics. Ah, The the skinamax. Skinamax. It's really grainy. I'm technically (laughs) running on three hours of sleep. English is starting to fail me. Yeah. Oh, what is Yeah, I have to assume this leads to like a if we go further through like the main part, it'll lead to like an employee or maintenance entrance or something yeah, like that. Yeah, service entrance leave. for sure. Yeah. Okay. A lot of these places have multiple, some of them that are kind of like off the beaten track, just in case somebody needed to exit out this spot. I have looked at way too many build- old buildings, haven't I? Right. God forbid the public actually interact with the staff. I know, right? Mm-hmm. So what is the plan? You have like this door that you slightly propped open, this hidden passageway. Are you just going back to possibly reunite with your usual companions? Or I think I could help look for a way an entrance like this, um, because this is this feels to Soggy like 
the workings of a very well run restaurant that's like a, on a high scale just amplified five million times you know what i mean yeah um mm-hmm. so i think sog is familiar with like service entrance where they might be and like uh, if there's a service entrance, it's very likely being propped open by an employee that might be like taking a cigarette break and doesn't feel like going all the way back around to like the other entrance. So like there may be a way to get out and we'll let the group know like you might, somebody might see us. So like be prepared to either deal with it or also the kind of person that might see us is also the same kind of person that might not actually give a shit. They're not paid enough. Right. We know they're not paid enough to give a shit. So either we can call them or we leave and uh, go pick them up and come back. What do you guys think? Um, how close is? I know you said the college is close, but how close is it? So, uh, it is like within like fifteen minutes, give or take, depending of general traffic. Well, they'd be unless they like took the bus or something. They'd probably be walking. <laughs> Since we uh, dropped them off. <laughs> that would be correct. Um, I, I feel like maybe they should just come here. Because it doesn't make sense to go get them and then double back, right? True. Because who knows how long this is going to work. Given what it is. Yeah. That. So you're attempting to communicate with them on the communicator, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, as many basement area, the service is a bit abysmal, but uh, you it, it does manage to get through. Um, where do you want them to meet you? Uh, Soggy said that they're going to look for like a service entrance or like a door okay. that's propped open so they can meet right. us there if we find one. All right. Or we can just open it up for ourselves and put. True. Yeah. There. Well, if Soggy is leading the charge on searching for a service entrance, could you kindly give me a uh, perception searching? Uh, can we help in any way? Uh, mm-hmm. sure. If you want to help, uh, I'm going to lower the difficulty of the test. Um, yeah. Uh, instead, of, like instead, of, instead of being challenging, it's going to be average. Uh, the This is a different scene than the food fight. Not food fight. The food <laughs> food fight. Fight. It did not escalate to a food fight, no. Um, okay. So then this, the four points that I had from there would not carry over. I would add a lot of carry over. Just such a small amount of time. Uh, if it carries over, then I get a so perception... Five, three, five, eight, 12, 16. 16. All right. So that would maybe use up the remainder of those points. All right. Fantastic. So it takes a little, a little bit of time. Um, from the basement area, you're not able, there's no direct entrance to like the basement area. But like going back to, you know, like up the, up uh, the floor just above taking the stairs uh there's like on like it's like if you're currently like on the south east side of the building just going to like just a bit like up the, in the northeast not all the way there the halfway point uh you're able to uh, find some stairs and that leads to like the main area where there was like uh, employee um, maintenance and like a, like a little quick service uh, entrance to the outside that they could possibly go there. Um, are you trying to be discreet about your approach there? Or, you know, trying to be nonchalant and you know, seem like, oh, yes, we absolutely belong here. Oh, Arya definitely is going to be trying to act nonchalant. I'm in the cart. <laughs> um, I'm I'm trying to 
just pull on my knowledge of like having looked for just navigated spaces like this, but not not in the sense of I know where I am, but more like if I come across anyone, then I'll kind of just pull upon my experience with like how to how to relate into basically deceiving them once I come across okay. someone. But and until then, I'm not going to try and play the part. After a little bit, you know, there is, uh, like, like, employee just probably wrapping up their shift, and that just as you turn around, just like pay attention to see if your uh, companions are like coming. This uh, young uh, dwarven figure just approach like, uh, "Are you supposed to be here?" Um, I, I don't know you. Like, are you like a new guy or something? I don't. Oh yeah, well I'm I, I'm with uh, one of the local institutions. They have a, a a group of volunteers that's coming in to help out with this particular event. They I don't know. Have you have you? I don't know. Are you, are you one of the managers? I'm supposed to connect with somebody to figure out which stand I'm supposed to work at. Yeah, actually, like, I actually work like the, like I'm the shift manager. Uh, Give me a communication deception. Who? He's the shift manager for this whole damn place. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Can Arya use uh, communication empathy to see like how much this dude is just blowing out of his ass? Absolutely. Yeah. I I in my sleep would also like to. I know. Part of me is like, can I like incite this person as well to be like, are they trying to, uh, are they also trying to avoid getting caught doing something they're not supposed to be doing? You know. Yeah. Roll that, com yeah. Get, yeah, let's communication. Perception, empathy. empathy. Perception, empathy. Perception, yeah. Uh, eighteen um, for perception, empathy with five stunt points. Okay. Um, hold on. Is it five or is it six? <laughs> you get one more. From if that thing is still up, then it's six. I got a 22 with also six cent points. Uh, my deception was a t grand total of six. Okay. Oh my uh, God. You said perception empathy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Six, 10, 12. So, as you're like all looking at each other, like <laughs> wondering, like, like, it's like any of this bullshit actually Spare believable. Like, like you can see this in this dwarf face. Like, like he's fucking. They're they're fucking with me, right? <clears throat> they're like, you know, that 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 is not a thing. Um, but you're also able to tell by looking at this dwarf face that no, fuck no, they're not a shift manager. <laughs> like, if anything. Yeah. They, they they were here. They don't. They probably don't even work here. Like, uh, oh my so, god! Do we what? see any sort of iconography on their clothes? Oh, oh, that too. I was just trying to see where they're like on a smoke break. If if you're trying to see iconography, give me a perception seeing. Okay, I'm going to also, since I, I got those six stun points, I want to use, I guess I want to use object of my attention Please do. to get a plus one, and then um, speedy search, just so like they don't catch me checking them out, I guess. Keep in mind, um, you, get, you get a plus one of stun points. Let's see. Right, yeah, I know. I don't really have anything to use for that last yeah. one. For... I mean, there's advantageous positioning, but I mean, you're in a pretty advantageous maybe. I'm just yeah, yeah, I could. I'll do that too. Right. So for okay. Arya and her stunt points, she's gonna use new friends. And let's see what else. And then stun silence. Okay. As or her two things to kind of distract him. Okay. So, so she's gonna look up and go, you know, and put her arm around his shoulder. 
kind of leaning down goes, you really are a shift manager. You and I know you're totally not telling us the truth. And I mean, by the looks of it, you're not supposed to be here. So how about this? You didn't see us, we didn't see you, and you get to have a shiny new coin. Hmm? Uh, I got a 16 on my search check. Fantastic. 16. So, as it's all happening, uh, Arius chatting up a uh, little fella here. Uh, you don't spot anything on his clothing. But paying attention and just your position, you do uh, notice right tuck behind the ear, just a very small tattoo. Uh, it is very, very faint, uh, but it is a symbol that you do recognize. From the temple? Yes, ma'am. I, so, <laughs> I say, we're here for the meeting, too. The meeting, okay, All right? Give me a deception. I'm going to try to see if he's reading you. Uh, what is deception? That is, that is communication. Oh. Okay. Uh, do I want to secretly pull out my knife since I have him up, kind of like this? Um, I, can't see I my other hand. I got a fifteen. Does right. bargaining doesn't work with this, right? Focus is there's a mm, yeah. is there a specific deception focus? Bargaining is like trying to get a discount at the store, like for all the amount of food okay. that you, you buy, like maybe like get like ten percent off because you're a loyal like, customer. Okay, okay. Baker's uh, donut. For yeah. The rest of your food. Baker's yeah. donut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, then dang, I didn't even use that plus two when I asked for that. <laughs> I, um, okay, yeah, I got 15 then. 15. All right. All right. I mean, I was, so I'm assuming you were like the, the new people, right? Yeah, people oh, that, yes. I mean, they were like, they, they told me like they were just like just gonna be like one person. So I, I like, you all of you look more than more than just one person. I mean, well, we're each individually a person. I mean, and I mean, can't we be uh, friends that we trust but, into this? And also, I don't. Are you? If they're telling you what to expect, you probably. Not necessarily one. I don't mean this disrespectfully. They're probably not one of the high-ranking people, right? So they want to kind of contain information, right? So they probably told different people each that a new person is coming because we are all scheduled to be here. We were expecting each of us was expecting someone to welcome us, but we only see you. All right, so right. that's that's just a tree of you, then, right? As far as we know, maybe there could be more. That's not my, it's not my job to know that, is it? We just come across each other looking for this place and found our way here together. Well, I mean, if you're all here, I mean, like, I don't really expect more people. I was like, like already like, it's two more people that I was expecting. Um, yeah, but those are, like my friend here said, just because you were told to expect that doesn't mean. Oh, yeah, I get that. Like, you know, people keep things hush hush. So we don't know if other people are coming because, again, that's not our business to know. All right. Well, I mean, in, in that case, less I get, people who know things. I suppose we can just like go then and just be discreet about it, right? You see them looking around. Like you're 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 good to go then, right? Uh, yeah, but you. I'll be honest with you. You might want to work on your reason for being down here because shift manager, nobody's going to believe that. In a place no. this big, come on. No. I get that. You know, I'm not very good at lying. 
I'm usually very and Soggy, honest. And Soggy with their six roll be like, yeah, you need to get better at that. <laughs> And on that note, just to make sure that we don't have anybody who kind of looks at our crowd as a possible, I mean, we're not all supposed to be here, technically, to everybody else. So you guys go forward, and I'll just kind of hang back within hearing distance, of course. Uh, I'll, I can continue to hide in the cart. I just go back and forth. Huh? <laughs> you just like roll the cart up the stairs. Yep. Oh, there's stairs. <laughs> this is a bumpy ass ride. <laughs> and yes, it's just as bumpy to on the way down. <laughs> bumpy ride. Uh, yeah, and um, I think I'll, I'll look back. And I think that makes sense, right? You were waiting for your escort to come in, so the, we should all we should all do that. So. Um, you match the description of the escort that I was given, so I'm happy to come along with you. All right. All right, all right. Oh, yeah. Yep, and we'll just wait around for our escorts then. Oh, wait, you're not going in the cart? Oh, well, I mean, he already saw me, and you just gave that lie. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, I was saying, like, it seemed like he was willing to just let us in, so I thought, like, you and I could go. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. That makes, yep, that makes sense, okay. And if mine doesn't come, I can catch up. I'm good. That's one reason why they invited me. Can, oh, my oh, I have a... God, this is stupid. I always have snacks on me, okay? We've established this already. Yes, yes. It is so kind of I want to leave a little breadcrumb trail for Arya to follow with, like, some, like, cracker crumbs or something. <laughs> I'm in the car, I mean, so, like, I could just do it from, like, from the back of the cart. Mm -hmm. Since you would be leading. Cool. So you're you're going b down the stairs in the cart. Uh, yep. So I get like the one holding the cart and making sure that, you know, Sabine does not just go all the way down in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm more I'm more than happy to say welcome to Jack. Yes, my name is Sabine. Type of yeah. It, I mean, like... <laughs> I'm assuming this custodial cart does not have a seat belt. No. So I can only control the cart. I cannot control the contents of this cart. Correct. The humanoid inside. So I'm uh, I'm I'm holding on very tightly to this cart and maneuvering this cart. It will be up to the passenger <laughs> to stay within to keep their hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. All right. They they say as I'm tossing out like crackers so Arya can follow the fucking the fucking trail. Could you just like humor me here? Give me a strength no. mic test. I I've been humoring you this whole time. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Let me get my sheet up. Let me see. Strength mic. Well, I mean, it's mostly okay. like for Soggy to like. Oh, Soggy. Uh -oh. Yeah. Because uh, like, Soggy there are like bring the car down so that you don't just stumble down the stairs in the car. I'm gonna do it. I'm That's gonna do it anyway. That's oh! Cool. Fuck me. Sorry. I'm listening. 16 I've... five stump points. Right. Um, Rafiki, I rolled just for shits and giggles and I got six, uh, three sixes on the fucking die. That <laughs> needs to count for something. <laughs> You don't fall out of the cart. That's I don't it. fall out. You and actually, actually don't if fall. 18, that's actually like a 20 math, like a 23. Yeah, that's like not impossible to like have. Uh, so, uh, so like you're, I'm surfing. You're, yeah, you, like you're able to hold on into that cart, like no problem. Like, well, you know, just one end, like, you know, do your breadcrumb trail. Uh, Soggy. You are, you know, surprisingly strong, and uh, even though it's a bumpy ride on the way down, yeah. uh, Sabine, you're able to hold on with no problem, um, and did not just go stumble all, all the way. Thankful, I mean, that triple six would have like probably still saved your butt, like had Soggy just dropped the ball here, and so for you to remain in the cart. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> um, okay, I would like to use my five stump points for uh, oh, so that means you get you have seven stump points to play with right now. Yeah. I do. Um, I would like to use Tower of Will. Um, okay. Because I have a sense of my own brilliance and strength of character. Um, so I go plus one to any opposed tests when anyone tries to read me, basically. All right. Uh, and advantageous positioning as like my way of maneuvering this card. All right. Fantastic. That works. So, and the little fellow goes like, so, uh, what was the member that invited you? What was their name? Or no, the name they gave you, at least. And I'm just going to uh, just look at them and not respond and kind of just keep on going, bumping down these stairs and be like, you should know better than to ask these kinds of questions. Isn't discretion key? <laughs> yeah, no, discretion is key for sure. It's just, you know, Shift manager. just making sure that, you know, it is, you know, I, I, I just want to you know to like for like the referral prog program, you know. I'll find them when we get down there. <laughs> Referral program. You refer us to shit. <laughs> <laughs> lion. Oh, oh yeah. lion ass. You, you can tell that, you know, this fell off from like the, their general attitude. You no, know, they do the menial tasks, like just go with the door. But they're not very, very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look at them like, like that, that gif of james franco and be like first time huh yeah, <laughs> yeah. um i'm trying to think of what i want to use my stunt points on wait a second Ooh. hold on i i just had a thought but i also don't know that this thought makes sense part of me is like <laughs> wait a second Are th yeah i hear that too like are they are they like an actual new recruit that we just bumped into? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will they're just like they're just fangirling over this cult, and that's they, why they have the marking on their ear. You know, they might they might not be new, but they're acting brand new for sure. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> They're a special member of the cult. Um, you know what? Just for I mean, everybody has the to water have the cult. because of all those wonderful, like, like decent there. role. Uh, yeah, they do feel fairly new and like they they. I'm I'm not sure what is Soggy's uh, typical experience with cult member. But I, I know that Sog has experience with secret customer, so um, they they secret do they do seem a... like a secret customer that is new to the job. Secret customers and like cus customers who think they know better than the staff. Yeah. Yeah. The entitled Karens. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna use my six stunt points for yeah. um seven. I have seven, yes. So I'm gonna use three for object of your attention. Okay. So I'm gonna receive a plus one bonus to further test to examine or perceive additional information or aspects of the object or the area. So I'll use it about like, you know, just kind of this place, this secret place, um, for when we do perception checks on it. And then God, do y'all think we're gonna get into a fight here? No, not tonight. Oh, it won't. No. No, no, no. I, but I mean, like, because this will be the same scene. Yeah. When we come back next week, um, what counts as a moment or two in this game? Uh, I am like, very, very loose. No. Well, of that, if you, what, what, what do we wanted to do? Uh, use. I wanted to use the upper hand. If your discoveries lead to combat within a moment or two, you receive a plus three bonus on your initiative roll. Yeah, uh, I will allow it. Uh, okay. How much time passed between uh, now and potential combat, depending 
that may also sometimes depend on your own actions. Right. So, okay. Yeah. So I'll do those two. So object of my attention and uh, the upper hand. Fantastic. I'm also in this cart, so I would absolutely get the upper hand because nobody except this dumbass yeah. knows that I'm here. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they lead you back to where you found the secret entrance. Uh, it takes them almost as long as it took Arya to find it because they're just not very good at being a cultist, apparently. I've been just rolling like absolute shit for them. Um, and they do uh, open and push door. So I'm not like sure like how well this cart will fit in here. Uh, um, and it's a weird way to make an entrance, to be honest. Uh, but do you like do you, like like if that's how you well literally roll here? Um, it's okay. Like it's just not no smooth road all the way so may be a bit rough all right we then. don't we don't respond to him <laughs> all right well um uh, we just stare at him like like the most awkward silence possible uh no out of character i thought that was the dm speaking not the character oh <laughs> I still don't respond. <laughs> all right, all right. I love how you guys left the talking one behind, but stealth and speed is Arya's forte. Silent type, Listen, okay. I respect that. S Sabine likes to talk, but she just has nothing to say to this person, <laughs> and also she's in the cart. <laughs> okay, definitely. Exactly. Uh, so he leads you down, uh, down there. Uh, as you walk in the uh, oh, the door closed behind you you're led to hallway that just you know go a bit further down into the basement and I think that's a good spot to leave it as you're being led into I don't know what possibly a cult meeting place by this very awkward cultist with Arya winning like at the door outside for possibly the creating uh, Avalyn to show up soon, hopefully. Yeah, I basically what sent the message out going, Oh yeah. shit, we found them. Get your asses here as fast as possible. Probably contact the boss for a quick taxi. Alright, we shall see where this will lead and what kind of trouble y'all will be able to find yourself into because I know you and we're gonna do do that find out next week so thank you very much everybody for joining us tonight we shall see y'all next week for possibly an encounter with some cultists that should be fun that should not be any issue for anybody, all right? So, uh, as we're le leaving for the night, let's go uh, raid somebody. Are uh, we not going to do outros? Oh yeah, you can do outros. It's been because did we do? Did we do? Did we do intros? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I was You're just thinking. I was like, today. I was just like, wait, I don't remember introducing <laughs> yeah. myself. The outros. Yeah, yeah, that's right. right. I don't even know. Do you say it's that? It's been a day. Yeah, it's been a week. It's been a week. It's been a day. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, you can go in whatever order you want to. I'm easy. But since Fair, you mentioned it, you can go first. Okay, great. Hi, I'm Fair. I've been uh, tiny but mighty and always hungry uh, Sabine Mooncrest, your halfling warrior. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at FairBear to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff to plug. I'm trying to decide how I want to. Yeah, I will. Um, Thursday night. Thursday night. Today is Thursday. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> clearly, I'm not going to plug because I'm flopping this hard. Just follow me on fucking Twitter to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Thanks. 
We're so professional tonight, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, wacky nights are usually our most yeah. wacky intros and outros, usually. Yeah. So far, I've seen. Uh, or Juice, whichever one you want to go next. Uh, I can go. Um, oh, right. Hi. I'm Juice, no pronouns, just Juice. I have been your Soggy Bottom Star Baker, Soggy Bottom Star Baker. And <laughs> you can find me here on Thursdays uh, playing this lovely, friendly neighborhood mage healer? Question mark? And on Saturdays, you can healer. find me <laughs> on, question mark. You can find me on Rolling D's 20s on Saturdays, 9 p.m. Eastern Time for our final season of Vampire the Masquerade Philly by Night, where I play Aurelio Valentin, Archer Mir, who has recently been outed by some rando in a fucking bar uh, and who I now need to kill. I'm also there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also in that game. <laughs> I just couldn't get it the words out. <laughs> um, so come see me and Fair on Thursday um, and watch us be uh, stealthy stiletto twins. Yes. Okay, bye. Oh, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at the Juice TM. Thanks. There you go. Yeah. And Kitty. Okay. That's me. Hi everybody, I'm Kitty. You can follow me on it at uh, InsaneKitty32 on Twitter as well as on Twitch. Kind of had a slight setback as I broke my wrapped game and currently I've been going crazy trying to get it to a point where I'm happy to start streaming it. So fingers crossed I can get it done by next week so I can start streaming and collecting new resources for the new update coming up. Um, also you can find me here on Thursdays, playing the most oniony of characters, Arya, who's our stealthy, talkative, ah, grumpy when she doesn't have coffee character. Um, currently, that is as far as my brain can remember. So, yeah, Rafiki, your turn. All right. Well, I'm Frank Akari Rafiki. I GM here. I more or less run this channel, and sometimes I do music under the brand Raven Skull Production. And you can mostly find me here and possibly in a few other places in the near future for a few things here and there that has not yet been announced. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, maybe next week we'll have a better outro. Tune in for that. <laughs> I don't guarantee that. I, I don't make guarantee. no promises. I, I cannot I make any promises. Promise. I cannot make any promise either on that. Chances are it's not going to be any better. But hey, we try. But you know... Well, we can promise that we're going to find somebody to raid. That's right. So stay there and see you next week. <laughs> Juice. <laughs>